and uh, increase market share. So, uh, of course, uh, as we, um, uh, the current growth rate of the industry is uh, a little over. Uh, so, uh, our, our targets will always, uh, of course, they will differ from category to category. Uh, then when we set our targets, uh, we look at the therapeutic classes, we look at the model. So, you know, you would find that when we would set targets uh, for some molecules that percent for some it would be 3%. So, you know, what are, on an overall basis, our objective is to share and uh, remain ahead of the industry. Thank you, sir. I guess uh, Yusra wants to ask a question. She is raising her hand. So, Yusra, please and ask your question. Hi, Assalamualaikum, uh, Nusrat. Assalamualaikum, Mayor. Thank you so much for the call. Um, uh, Nusrat, my question mm -hmm. was actually regarding the thought process of multinationals right now. Um, seeing as you've acquired, you know, from a multinational, um, what is the thought process behind holding businesses? Abhi market share for multinationals is going to be and um, you know, I, I read that, uh, you know, the government is also, uh, you know, telling multinationals to put your locally, in, uh, APIs locally as well because of the cost uh, uh, that uh, goes down to the consumer as well. So, um, can you explain a little about what, what's the thought process behind, uh, you know, this, this conversion that's taken place in the last decade? Um... You, you mean the entire 25, 30 years because it's a journey. It's not something that has... Just yeah, that happened in a day. Gee. So, uh, total turnaround uh, hua hai, uh, is two decades. Pele, uh, you know, 30 firms with local companies and 70% were MNCs. Now it's turned down. I think what sari cheese is here. Pele to totally dominated market by MNCs and uh, surely but uh, slowly but surely uh, uh, local companies may transfer technology here and uh, here in this sense. Uh, unilateral kism ki prices hoti thi ke ke, uh, reference pricing model nahi hoti ya aap you know choice per se nahi hoti thi lekin uh, local companies aage badhi hain manufacturing plant set up kiye hain to over the course of the last uh, two decades uh, drap mein bhi ya uh, ministry of health ko pehle kaha jata tha usko uh, uh, India and Bangladesh se reference price model introduce uh, kar diya hai and if uh, that drug in India or Bangladesh is not available, it will pricing be uh, You know, Pakistan has operated the MNC they see a host of other things as well. Uh, you know, uh, geopolitical risk in the currency risk in the uh, uh, you know, pharmaceutical may primarily uh, labor union here, so you know, labor ke issues in the other uh, so create tha ke uh, pehle, uh, margins bahut, bahut, pharmaceutical industry mein MNCs ke liye. but uh, with uh, local companies coming forward the margins kaafi reduce ho gaye uh, you know i think it's uh, local companies have given a tough competition to MNCs and uh, perhaps jo ek risk reward wo uh, hota hai ratio uski wajah uh, you know i think uh, the market is now moved towards uh, you know, roughly 70% stake uh, local companies ke paas hai and 30% MNCs ke paas hai. I think this will stabilize towards um, local companies and somewhere 80-20 pe ja ke shayad because, you know, 
रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट तो मेरेली एम एन सीज में ही होती है और तो वो एक इम्पोर्टेड प्रोडक्ट्स का या रिसर्च का वो तो एक यू नो एक डिमांड की मार्केट में सो यू नो ट्रैप का जो बैंडेट है वो ये है कि लो कॉस्ट क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट टू द पब्लिक पेटेंट के भी जो चीज़ें हैं वो यहाँ पे एक्सरसाइज नहीं होती हैं सो यू नो एम एस वो रहता है वो नहीं लेकर आते मार्केट में question which which is not exactly related to this particular um uh, you know call it's it's regarding export actually and you know the um you know noise that surrounding uh, the region and since you you know toward exports how do you see this working out particularly with what's happening with afghanistan and so to आप इसमें देखें हमने जो है इस पर काफ़ी एक्सटेंसिव काम शुरू कर दिया है कुछ गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से भी इंसेंटिव्स हैं एक्सपोर्ट पे एंड आई थिंक दैट इज़ वन सेगमेंट फ्रॉम व्हाट वी सी सर्टिफिकेशन होती हैं वो आपको प्लांट लेवल पे क्वालिफिकेशन होती है डब्ल्यू एच ओ की क्वालिफिकेशन होती है अगर वो आप अपने बहुत सारी कंपनीज हैं जिनकी मार्केट्स आपके लिए ओपन सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट वी हैव यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन एंड आई डू एग्री के यू नो ठीक है डोमेस्टिक इज अट्रैक्टेड 220 million ki population hai but uh, having said that i think uk ek uh, apne raw materials ke liye ek import dependent market hai to us risk ko mitigate karne ke liye uh, pe focus karna bahut zaruri hai and i think uh, potential hai uh, pharmaceuticals to uh, increase our export and uh, have already started work on that but thoda just a little bit of a thoda sa lamba hai 3 se 4 saal ka arsa usme lagega got it thank you sir always a pleasure thank you thank you thank you yusra thank you uh let's take to um, the chat box ali then i would allow you to ask your question uh there is a question regarding eas of the transaction on a sta- stand alone basis so to answer it uh there would be an addition of 1.5 in in our books as regards to eas well sir. yeah on 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 12 basis very right no sir thank you we have is uh what were your consideration regarding impairment relation to addition post covid environment i didn't quite get the question so uh, i try to read it once again this it says mr summer says that what were your considerations regarding impairment in relation to acquisition um, what can you please clarify let me what what you exactly mean by it हम वो वेट देखा था सो एक्सप्लेन कुछ क्या पूछना चाह रहे हैं डिंट क्वाइट टू अस एक्सक्यूज मी कैन आई ऐड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन शो शो बेसिकली व्हाट आई आई मीन आई थिंक दिस पर्सन इज अ पास इमेलमेंट बिकॉज़ आपने जो ट्रांजैक्शन फाइनलाइज किया प्री कोविड पे किया तो ट्रांजेक्शन आके आपका इनकॉर्पोरेट है तो क्या इसमें इम्पेयरमेंट हो गई है और ऐसा होना नहीं चाहिए इसका पॉजिटिव इम्पेक्ट होना चाहिए बिकॉज आप कोविड के साथ आप मजीद अपनी सेल को देख रहे हो गए देखा था तो हमने 2019 के नंबर्स की इस पे इस ट्रांजेक्शन किया था 
कोविड को हटा के भी वो अपनी जगह पे है एंड कोविड इज लाइक उसको कहते हैं ना अल्लाह ना करे हम ऐसे तो नहीं बोलते हम सब किसी किसी ना किसी फैमिली को जानते हैं सीरियस उसमें देखते हैं सो बट यू नो इट इज सख्त किस्म का फ्लू कह लें इसको बट इट विल स्टे इट सीम्स दैट इट विल स्टे With the unless the time के कोई एक you know vaccine भी इसकी probably दो साल लगेंगी जिस तरह flu shots and uh, we will all learn to live with it so you know क्योंकि ये एक respiratory tract को attack करता है ये virus and जो you know जो सीरियस केसेस भी होते हैं वो लंग इन्फेक्शन से होते हैं तो इसके जो इनिशियल कोविड मैनेजमेंट में एजिथ्रोमाइसिन का यूज भी बिलीव के रहे सो इम्पेयरमेंट तो मैं नहीं कहूँगी क्योंकि हमने इसकी इन्वेस्टमेंट तो प्री कोविड टाइम्स में ही की थी थैंक यू लाइक the covid situation and everything may may allah have mercy on all of us so uh, we'll hear from ali now and uh, box again so ali please go ahead hi um, hi muswat thanks for the uh, detailed presentation very useful i uh, maybe start amir you made you said the earnings per share impact number that you gave is that um, what sandos brings to hdp on a post minority yeah. post minority expense ali ali can you please repeat yeah no the question was the eps that you gave is that it does uh, the 35% agp does not own that's 65% of the eps Maybe you can just double check that. Or can I can I add because this question was basically raised by me. Okay. Uh, sir, EPS. Whenever we calculate EPS, we have to calculate EPS including the holding and the minority, both combined, and then we uh, as per the accounting rules, then we can come down and attribute the profit. to the holding company and the minority mm. therefore i believe that what i and five when you are talking is a 1.5 a consolidated eps that that is there okay thank you uh, omar is that sorry i is it just wanted to clarify is that from the company or is that an investor i'm not sure that was an investor oh, okay that's very useful uh, not sure if it's if it's accurate so i'll wait for you guys to confirm Well, maybe you can maybe it. maybe you can take this offline I, the reason i ask is just because if if you do it on a post minority basis it implies that the margin today is as high as agp's consolidated margin but what i heard you say no sort is it's going to take you 2 years on 50% net margin and i think one of the questions that was asked earlier was what is the current margin and understand maybe if we're looking at the next you know uh, what's the ramp up margins that you're expecting to see for the sandos portfolio uh see we we have given you a approximate uh, so you know at the current time of course as uh, you know there was a question as uh, the prices of the ap are fluctuating as mm. uh, my seen prices have gone up uh sense of use so you know we need to see where that would and that is the lot of this portfolio uh, so you know we put an approximate 
the current margin will be a couple of uh, you know percentage points uh, a lot of uh, you know um, uh, yeah. th those are ballpark figures right okay so basically we're saying if if we're going to get to 50 in say 2023 that means that today we're probably on around something that's what you're suggesting 42 42 okay got it that's useful and secondly just on on revenue synergies did you you know like the question that um was asked about multinationals from usra was the portfolio neglected somehow in, in terms of you know the revenue opportunity do you feel that agp as a local company has an opportunity to increase the kager from historically 12 and a half yeah, see, um, you know, I think uh, the decision to uh, divest was, of course, you know, made uh, some time back. And uh, I'm sure you would uh, appreciate and understand that once a decision is made, uh, then the spending in terms of uh, resources, in terms of manpower, uh, that is either reduced or put, uh, you know, put on the back burner. Uh, so uh, uh, we feel that in terms of reach, um, um, you know, this this portfolio is neglected. Uh, and uh, I think we bring uh, value to the table as we had done in the past, uh, you know, AGP um, acquired brands in the past. Uh, to give you one example, Regix, we bought in 2007, and at uh, the time, uh, the sales of the brand were about 100 million. Today, the sales of the brand are about 1.6 billion. So, you know, it's uh, a, a local company um, naturally invests uh, in, uh, in promotion of the brand as well as uh, in increasing uh, the reach, the frequency. So, you know, I, 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 we've identified gaps over there and uh, strategy to, uh, to bridge those gaps and uh, bring more value. And, uh, last question. Um, it's just, actually, sorry, just two more. One is on oncology. It seems that it's fairly small today, reflecting maybe the just the size of the class, right? Uh, you, you've, you've been excited about oncology for some time. Like, what, what makes you excited about that um, therapeutic class and particularly those drugs that you acquired? Uh, see, uh, oncology, the need for oncology drugs is there in the market. Uh, it was either uh, being fulfilled by just two two players in the market, and the remaining requirements were fulfilled through imports from India. Uh, you know, with the geopolitical situation, I think uh, as a strategy, uh, the country is trying to reduce uh, its uh, its reliance on India. Uh, so, you know, I, I think there's a great gap over there. Um, I agree that, uh, you know, I would say it's, uh, it's not um, segment, but um, I think um, um, there is work to be done in that it's a big more segment. And, uh, you know, I, uh, as you know, we, we brought in uh, the biosimilar for a certain in the mm. market. But unfortunately, due to supply issues, we have not been able to get any stock for the last 18 months or so. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think there is need uh, need in the market. It's, it's a relatively low margin segment. But uh, being in the pharmaceutical uh, sector, I think that is a segment that uh, one should uh, uh, one should work on. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's that's our view on that, and that is why we we entered that segment. Okay. So, Mayor, sorry, one last one I'm going to sneak in, which is, uh, it's a more general question, uh, Nusrat, on NA. When you do a deal like this, relative to sales and relative to, uh, or break, break and say, okay, we'll do something in three years, or is it, is it, you know, is the strategy more like let's do 
three sizable ones get to 100 million sales and then take a break? And how, how do you think about uh, executing and integrating versus acquiring? <laughs> I see you're smiling, so I'm assuming. Well, I, I think it depends on the opportunity. Uh, you know, if the next opportunity presents itself, um, uh, you know, two months down the line, we will certainly turn away. Uh, right. that way. So, you know, we, we have the capacity and the will. Uh, so, you know, that's the, that's the long and short of it. Fair enough. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you, Adi, and thank you, Mr. So, let us return to our chat box. We have some questions over there. And another one from Mr. Hassan. When is the annual CPI hike expected to take place for financial year 22 for various drugs? And how do you see its impact overall product portfolio? Should we expect an overall increase in sales by 7 to 8% due to CPI pass through impact? Okay, so um, the CPI um, this year was about 8.9%. So for non-essential drugs, it's 100% of the supply and for, uh, sorry, for, uh, uh, yeah, for non-essential, it's 100% of CPI and for essential, it's 70% of CPI. Um, it uh, is expected uh, to start in the second half of August. Uh, but uh, since most companies have a stock of about 45 days in the market at the old price, so uh, you should expect the uh, impact kicking in in the last quarter of uh, this year. As far as OGP is concerned, uh, about uh, 75% of our portfolio is, uh, falls in the non-essential category. Uh, having said that, there are some products in there which are not um, at their maximum price due to demand uh, and supply constraints. So you could, you could say that the price increase would impact about, say, 80% of our portfolio. And, uh, with an average uh, increase of about uh, 7%. Thank you. Uh, the next we have is from Mr. Shabi Hassan, and he wants to ask what percentage of sales is tender sales and what percentage is retail sales. Also, please highlight top trucks which are sold on tender. And you also mentioned decline in the first quarter of calendar year 2021 on year-to-year -year basis due to decrease in tender sales. Can you please give us some outlook on this? Okay, so primarily um, uh, hepatology products were going into tender sales apart from... Mm -hmm. Are you asking about AGP or are you asking about Sandoz? I, I, I assume it's, it's for Sandoz business. Sandoz, okay. There are no, um, you know, almost negligible uh, tender sales in uh, Sandoz. Uh, although oncology portfolio is primarily, uh, you know, uh, essentially goes to institutions. But then away from tender sales for the last uh, two years. But oncology essentially, you know, they, it's, it's sales with the institution. The next we have is from Uzair Subair, and he wants to know from which date Sandoz has been consolidated in your account. So if you allow me, I would like to answer this. That's from, from July 30th, sorry. The next we have is from Mr. Taha Javed and who wants to know what are your expecting annual price revision? I think I'll I guess, yeah, we, we answered that. We can move to the next one. Uh, you have mentioned that you plan to move to production on your own facilities since in terms of sales, it's around 50% increase. 
increment to your existing sales do you have the capacity available or would it be would it require capex or rolling in near term okay so in some doses um, we do have the capacity and uh, in some uh, we will need uh, capex investment thank you so uh, we'll we'll return to our chat box again but i i can see mr habib is raising his hand since long so mr habib can we please hear from you habib sahab are you uh... Sir, we cannot hear you. Okay, so let's move to the other one. Ah, uh, one. Now we have a. So our share price has fallen by. Are you going to see increase in share price, and will also uh, new entries in market are affecting the share price? Can't comment on share price. We can okay. only comment on the performance of the company and the uh, position on. Mm, we have a next question from uh, Hani. He wants to know: Do you have eighty and add twenty-two more? How can so twenty-two? Yeah. I, yeah. So Hani Hanif sir, we are total portfolio of around eighty products, and uh, mention we are also hiring a sales and marketing team. So we have the capacity, and inshallah, that would be managed pretty well. Ah, uh, we from Mr. Hasib Khan, how much contribution did Sputnik V make to overall profitability in the period? Not much. Moving on, moving on to the next one, we have from Abdullah. Can you please share us about recent nutraceutical plant? What is its capacity? How much additional revenue and profit you can expect from the plant? Okay, so um, the nutraceutical plant uh, went into commercial operations and water of 2020. Uh, in the initial phase, we um, Uh, transfer the six nutritional uh, products that being told uh, from third party. So uh, those um, those products have real revenue of about hundred and eighty million, and uh, then we are uh, continuously adding new products uh, in in the pipeline. Uh, so you know. Um, uh, Is a segment I think which uh, gained a lot of uh, traction uh, in global markets, and uh, uh, I think moving forward with if this pandemic has taught me, it's more going towards more uh, you know preventive or prophylactic treatments. So it's you know immune boosters and uh, you know health supplements. Uh, to improve the general uh, immunity of the body, so I think uh, the nutraceutical segment is expected uh, to uh, to gain good traction. Uh, we have um, obtained uh, uh, a certification for the nutraceutical plant, and uh, we will uh, also look look into exports. Uh, in this segment as well. Thank you, Nusrat. So, uh, Mr. Habib, are you with us now? Uh, you are still raising your hand. I guess Habib, you are having some some troubles. We cannot hear you. So, if I can request you to please write your question in the chat box. Okay. And uh, going uh, to the to our chat box once again. So we have a comment from Mohammed. I think 
instead of acquiring brands why not considering to de- so we do that as well like you know osmeer uh, is our home grown brand so is anapur town um primoral ubitech so we do both uh, i think we we do uh, what uh, you know we try to add value uh, for the shareholders and if you are a homegrown brand brand or a quiet brand we try to do a combination thank you sir then uh, as well given the focus of the government on health and roll out of health card has been on the agenda of the government do you expect pharma sector growth to surpass the historical growth rate going forward uh i think double digit growth will continue uh you know it's already 13% higher than when we compare to the developed market in the same trend uh give or take a few percentage points that would continue then mohammed wants to know essential to non post integration of sandos portfolio i don't have a ready figure on hand so we'll have to get back on that Thank you. Mohammad Iqbal wants to know any price expected from Grab. I think we have discussed about it. Uh, then we have a question from Sabir. You mentioned that the transfer of market authorization over the next 12 to 18 months. Please share detail as how to man how as to how you manage during the set period. During the during set period. Okay. So during uh. time we have signed an agreement uh, from the west of pakistan and uh, we will continue to buy uh, these products in this interim period as at an agreement you know sir then mohammed ahmed wants to gp i believe for products in pipeline excluding sandals brand of seeing new products are uh, something that we uh, you know keep keep close to our heart due to <laughs> competition so you know you will know once they are launched so we have a robust pipeline and uh, we will roll it out okay so this is it from i can see from my chat box and i can see no more hands being raised up so uh, any any questions uh, further questions from the floor okay uh, i think okay uh, now we have the give you a category it would be in the nutraceutical segment and the cardio metabolic segment thank you nusrat so i guess if we have no more questions can we bring to an end to the meeting so uh, nusrat uh, any closing remarks uh no just i am extremely excited uh, about the new acquisition i think uh, this will uh um change the entire complexion of a gp and um, give us um uh, you know increase our uh, footfall and the interactive segment uh so you know i think that uh, uh, there's a lot that we can do uh, we have already identified the gaps uh so um i think we uh, we got the deal at a good price and uh, uh, you know i think uh, time will tell and but we are excited and uh, very soon 
that is doing will uh, bring value to the company and its shareholders. Thank you, Nusrat. Thank you for the wonderful closure. And uh, I want uh, to say something. Hello, hello. I want to say something. G G and uh, Ibra, please go ahead. Uh, hope you are are. बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया निशा जला कला थैंक यू एंड ऑन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अपना कंग्रेसेशन 22 ग्राम का एंड वी रिसीव वेरी हैंडसम बाय नुसरत वेरी आई होप मोर चपटेड विद द शेयर होल्डर एंड मोर प्रोडक्टिविटी इंशाल्लाह थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर योर इनकरेक्शन थैंक यू थैंक यू and on behalf of the share regards to all the participants over here your association has always been valued